Start by unscrewing the fan shroud using 2.5mm Allen wrench. Next, preheat the hot end to 210 degrees. Now remove the nozzle. Hold the heater block in place with pliers and unscrew the nozzle with a 9mm socket wrench. Remove the nozzle with needle nose pliers. Remove PTFE liner. Let the hot end cool down, then shut off and unplug the machine. Next, remove the top extruder cover using 2mm Allen wrench and Phillips screwdriver. Using Phillips screwdriver, remove three screws holding the bed leveling probe. Now carefully wiggle out the bed leveling probe and set it on the side. Do not completely remove the probe because electrical cables are still attached to the board. Using small flat screwdriver, loosen two bolts on green terminal block. Those are the wires for heater cartridge. Heater wires should now come out easily. Remove small thermistor connector. It is located right above green terminal block. Next, using 2mm Allen wrench, loosen cooling block set screw. It is located right below the circuit board. Remove the hot end assembly. This will require some wiggling and moving wires around. Next, unscrew cooling block and thermal tube from the heater block. Install two jam nuts into bottom portion of thermal tube. They are needed to help loosen thermal tube. There is a flat on top portion of cooling block. Grab on that flat with needle nose pliers. Using 11 millimeter wrench, start unscrewing top jam nut. This will loosen thermal tube and it should unscrew easily without much effort. Next install all metal thermal tube. Make sure stainless steel portion bottoms out with cooling block. Screw in all metal nozzle into heater block. Please note orientation of heater block. Nozzle goes to the side with counter board hole. Screw the nozzle all the way in until it bottoms out. Then unscrew one eighth of a turn. Screw in thermal tube slash cooling block assembly into the other side of heater block. Tighten with finger pressure. As shown in the video, there should be a small gap between face of a heater block and thermal tube. 
Next, reinstall the hot end into extruder assembly. Again, be careful with the cables, you will have to move them around. A light heater block so it is sitting parallel to the printer, with wires coming out on the right side of it. With 2mm Allen wrench, tighten cooling block set screw. Insert heater cables into green terminal block. Polarities are not important. Tighten the two terminal block bolts with flat screwdriver. Reinstall thermistor connector. Insert bed leveling probe into position. It should be sitting on top of three pillars. Be careful not to break delicate probe arm. Now screw in three screws holding the probe. Make sure probe arm is retracted. Reinstall top extruder cover. Plug the power back in and turn on the machine. Preheat the nozzle to 210 degrees. Hold the heater block with pliers and seat the nozzle with 9mm socket wrench. Let the hot end cool down, then shut off the machine. Reinstall the fan shroud using 2.5mm Allen wrench. Perform a filament loading procedure.